May I now request the Bachelor of Bollywood, the Brand Ambassador of West Bengal, Mr. Shah Rukh Khan, to address this August audience, Mr. Shah Rukh Khan. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kolkata. Thank you, all of you, for all the warmth, all the love. Thank you, Mamtadi, for being always as charming, energetic, and hyperactive. Extremely wonderful to see her, as always, running around, jumping around, making this uh, wonderful Kolkata International Film Festival come alive with her energy. All the dignitaries on stage, all the superstars, the youngsters from Bengali cinema, thank you very much. Uh, Mithunda, Jayanti, Amitji, Prasenjit, Kamal Hassan sir. It's, uh, it's an amazing, amazing collection and gallery of people who are on stage and off stage. So many dignitaries and uh, all I can say is thank you Kolkata for adopting me so and giving me this opportunity to be here every year. Thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> Just want to say a word about festivals because I've been coming here now for the last three years and I promise you next time when I'm here, I'll speak in Bengali before. So Jayanti feels I'm also truly, truly, truly from Kolkata then. I'll, I'll, I'll come to you and learn from you. Huh? So next time when you stand here on stage, I'll say I'm so true Bengali and we are welcoming everyone. But festivals like these ones, and this is very heartening to see. I've, like I said, I've been coming here for three years. Um, festivals are the most basic human expression of collective happiness over life, I think. They have been so through the ages. Storytelling in some form or other has always been part of this expression ever since the time that man began to organize himself into tribes and human society emerged. Society is advancing in a manner that is doing both, diminishing distances between people and increasing them at the same time. Social networking, for example, allows you to interact with others without ever really interacting with them. That is why I think cinema matters, because it brings people together in a single experience of life to which they relate collectively. To a nation like ours, a nation of diverse traditions, multiple cultures and immense beauty, cinema can be so many things. It can be the collective dream, the individual aspiration, the definition of identity, the loss of animosity, the sense of togetherness and the messenger that carries a voice across our boundaries into the rest of the world. Especially in a festival like this one where people come from all over to share stories and their telling, there ought to be a feeling of celebration and happiness, a sharing of India and of life and its experiences. So on behalf of Kolkata and humbly so as the ambassador of the state of Bengal, I wish all the dignitaries and filmmakers from all over the world the next few days to be the greatest celebration of your life because you are perhaps in the greatest, the most charming, the most loving city in the world, just like the Chief Minister herself. I also hope creative interactions of the scale help Indian films to reach the heights that great filmmakers present here tonight and who have passed away like the wonderful Rituporno, who have thought and had a dream for Indian films over the years. So I leave you with the words of the great Mr. Satyajit Ray. What the Indian cinema needs today is not more gloss but more imagination, more integrity and a more intelligent appreciation of the limitations of the medium. What a cinema needs, above everything else, is a style, an idiom, a sort of iconography of cinema, which would be uniquely and recognizably Indian. I wish you all present here tonight a very, very pleasant evening, and welcome to Kolkata.